how is it you got started in making art? Well, the art that I make at the moment, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, it's uh, something which developed in university because uh, with isolation, I couldn't attend the school in order to present paintings for them to be assessed. So the painting tutor advised me to consider another medium. And I said to him, because I've been making art films, would that be viable? And he agreed it's probably the best route. I started making films uh, before that, but not um, in that with that motivation, if you know what I mean. I basically, um, I would make films because I enjoyed footage. I really appreciate cinema. And I basically uh, would like to share my own vision and messaging um, through different filmmaking. And that's uh, that's kind of what I presented to the school, really, as my work. Um, I do drawing and painting as well. Um, I draw with both pencils and with ink. But my arts that I've been presenting to school and um, that I got graded for was, was art films. So that all developed from uh, a necessity to present work whilst living in isolation, really, um, which is tricky. But uh, it was something which uh, developed based on um, being inside so often and filming myself in isolation. And then I would film other things in between. And I found the in-betweens more interesting than the footage of myself. So I have, you know, hard drives full of videos, terabytes, you know, two terabyte hard drives and several of them full of videos of different things. And um I started to notice that the in-between scenes were more compelling, really, than the uh, than the scenes where I was filming myself doing things, you know. Um, so that's really how it started, was only a few years ago. Okay. Um, so, what, um, what is it that, um, where is it you find inspiration? What's your inspiration for making art? Well... Okay, um, I would say I love cinema, so I watch a lot of film that way. But to be honest, making art can usually be influenced by other things. So a lot of the time it will be um, either going out and seeing things where you weren't expecting to film and you just happened upon something which is just, it's just impossible to let pass by. You have to capture it so I'll try to film it and that will usually get integrated into a film um, afterwards so it's not always planned scenes it's sometimes a, a kind of a, a patchwork of something where I will go out and shoot something specifically with that um, intention of capturing something and other times it will just be in the moment and I'm inspired to film and to actually create the film the inspiration is, uh, it's sometimes just thoughts and ideas, just daydreams, you know, that can be what, what where it comes from. Uh, and I, I do like paintings and drawings for inspiration. That makes me want to film things as well, you know, and capture footage. It's usually where I get a lot of inspiration from. Music, it can be from anywhere. I could go on and on, but it can be from anywhere, a lot of different sources, you know. Um, yeah, music, thoughts and ideas, other people. And just by chance happening upon things that I find interesting. 